my lab studies the immune system and uh, to respiratory diseases. So primarily we work in respiratory infections in cattle, um, but we also have a one health approach. So some of the pathogens that we study also share similarities with human infections. So RSV in particular is a virus that there's a cattle form that looks very similar to what impacts um, human infants as well. So we kind of have that one health aspect of our lab. And we've been working with the nano vaccine um, research group for probably about four or five years now I've been doing this research. Um, and so we're specifically looking at development of a respiratory syncytial uh, virus vaccine. So in our particles, we're encapsulating different proteins from the virus itself um, and using this as a novel vaccine approach. And so um, I think the aspect that's really appealing with the nanoparticles for this disease is that you can administer it needle free to the mucosa. So respiratory pathogens infect in the nose and the mouth and the respiratory tract. So if you can uh, vaccinate in that same location and induce protective immunity um, in the same place where that animal might encounter the pathogen, I think that's really important. And with the diseases we study in very young animals, they get antibodies from mom, which helps protect them from a lot of these diseases, but also um, helps to make those vaccines not as effective. So by kind of avoiding maternal antibody, which tends to be in the serum and circulating in the body, if you can administer that vaccine in the nose, um, you avoid kind of that interference and make your vaccine a lot more effective. So I think that's what's really exciting about the nanoparticle approach. Also the idea of kind of the slow, prolonged release. So a lot of vaccines, you inject them, the protein's released and it kind of goes away very quickly thereafter whereas the nanoparticles protect and slowly degrade, so the protein is released over time, which gives that immune system more time to recognize and mount an effective response. In our lab right now, we're truly studying diseases that impact the host, which is the calf, and developing approaches that can, you know, in my day, we can actually see a benefit in that animal. So I think that's what's most exciting. And plus I just like the everyday challenge of research, though the immune system is fascinating to me. So just understanding the how and why it works is exciting enough to come to work every day. <laughs>